guys welcome back to my channel today is our second day in Mexico City and we have a pretty packed day just like yesterday but today we do have some free time later in the day so that's gonna be really nice start off the morning Isaac and I woke up super late and he had to be at this camp where a bunch of kids were gonna be playing flag football I didn't end up going because I needed to get ready for the day do my hair do my makeup so Isaac went ahead and went without me but he is currently on his way back to the hotel they're gonna come and pick me up and then I'm not really sure what we're doing today. I do know we're going to see some pyramids, so that's gonna be cool. But right now, I'm just finishing up getting ready. I uh, did my hair, did my makeup, and now I'm trying to choose an outfit. I really like this outfit, but I just feel like it's too nighttime for the day. So it's just these joggers from Zara, and then I have like this crop top. I think I might just wear this tonight. I really like this outfit, but I don't know, it's just kind of dark right now. So not dark as in like the daytime, it's dark as in like my outfit. So I think I might put on a pair of jeans. Excuse our messy hotel room. Um, let me change to my second outfit and I will show you guys. Okay, so I just changed to this top, which is from Urban Outfitters. And I really, really like this top, but, oh. I was except the door. Good. Do you like this top? What? Do you like this top? I love that top. Do you think it, I don't know, I don't have my tight jeans, so I don't know if I want to wear this. So here's my dilemma. All right guys, Isaac showed up to the hotel room, but this is what I'm going with today. So I'm wearing this Urban Outfitters top, these Urban Outfitter jeans, and then just some sandals. I don't like these jeans with this top because they're baggier. They're like boyfriend jeans, but it'll work. All right guys, so we just walked down to our hotel lobby and there is an influencer here from Mexico City. So Isaac is going to be filming with her today. I think we're gonna do like a quick hour, I'm not sure what they're doing, but they're doing like an interview or something. I'll keep you guys updated, but they're miking up Isaac right now. I have not eaten yet today, so I'm super hungry, but hopefully after this we can grab some food. All right guys, so we just made it to a park, which is kind of like Mexico City's Central Park. I cannot pronounce it, but that's okay. So Isaac right now, is doing a little interview slash episode with one of the influencers in Mexico City. Jen, what's her name? Liana. Liana? Liliana. What? Liliana. Liliana. Okay, got it. <laughs> uh, so he's over there doing it. I'm trying to stay back so that I don't get in the background, which I probably already have, so that's unfortunate, but that's okay. Um, we got our security right here. Say what's up. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're just kind of enjoying Mexico City. I think we're gonna go see the pyramids later, so that'll be cool. Just kind of enjoying this nice day. It's really nice that it's sunny outside because yesterday it was not sunny. It actually started raining, so it's a nice day. So that's Isaac way up there. Just trying to stay back. Don't want to be in the shot. Jen's gonna be in the shot from the car. She was majestically looking out the window. And uh, this park is really cool though. I'm not sure what that is. It's a sculpture of some kind. Do you know what that is? Yeah. Nope. It's pretty though. Uh, I actually went off by myself with two other people, not by myself, but with two other people and we just went to go grab me some food because I did not eat breakfast this morning. So while Isaac was doing a little interview episode, he stayed in like this town square and then I went ahead and got some tacos. I'm gonna bring him back some tacos, which I'm sure he's gonna be ecstatic about. I'm not sure what we're doing for the rest of the day, but I feel really good having some food in my system. Uh, right now we're just trying to find our van. I'm not really sure where it is. Hopefully we'll find it. Uh. Ooh. Uh. Try one. No. They're not bad. What? Just like that. All right guys, so we are now officially done with everything on the itinerary, including like all the charger stuff. 
So Isaac and I decided instead of going to the pyramids, we're gonna walk around the city and get a feel for Mexico City just like on foot because we haven't done that yet. So as we're walking, Isaac and I came upon this lady selling grasshoppers. Isaac, Isaac wants me to try them. I gotta, just don't know if I want to. You gotta introduce the camera to Ricardo and Mal. <laughs> this is Ricardo, our hey. security. Mal. Mal? Our other security. Have you ever tried the grasshoppers? Yeah. Ew. Yeah. Try it. Thank you. Huh? Uh, yes, please. Hold on. If I, I eat a few, just... if I eat a few, that's how you know they're not bad. Well, I started eating a couple of them. That's why they can't be bad. Okay, here we go. Ew, I don't even want to touch it. Ew, 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 ew,
started to rain, but Isaac and I found this cute little restaurant, so we decided we're just gonna have a drink, get an appetizer, and then go to the street right after. But the place we're eating at is called Mythos, MX, Mythos, I don't know how to say the second word, but it's a Greek food place, and it reminds us so much of the Airbnb that we stayed in when we were in Greece. So it's just kind of like a full circle, kind of off season. But I got a drink, and it has pineapple juice, mezcal, and then tahini on the rim. It's super good. So we've been sitting here for a little while, and it started pouring rain. But that's okay because our car is coming to pick us up legit maybe 10 feet from where we're sitting. Here's where we're sitting. That's our car. To escape the rain, we decided to come to an indoor mall called De, Lo, De Los Palacios. I can be pronouncing that wrong, so don't quote me. As you can tell, it is thundering and raining so bad outside. So we decided to come in here to stay warm, but also to do something. Um, this is more like an upscale mall. It kind of is like a, it's like Rodeo in California, but it's inside. So it's really nice because we don't have to get wet and we can still do something. Right now we're trying to find some coffee just to wake us up. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Is this outside? Look at this. I can't have a churro, but this man can. And it's gone. Oh, I mean, this thing is so good. How is she? I mean, it is easily the best churro I've ever had. We are now at our hotel and we're gonna go up to the rooftop and have a few drinks, some cocktails, some appetizers. For what? For what? What do you mean? What's it called when we do that? Power we're hour. gonna go have a little power hour, happy hour. Here is a nice view of Mexico City. I just wanna say that over the past like three hours, I have completely yeah. fallen in love with Mexico City. The place that we're in, Polanco, is that what it's called? I think so. Yeah, it's Polanco. It's really cool. Um, all around that, and they make the plaza in the middle. So that's where, like, the, the heads of the tribe. Just finished a nice little happy hour. Now we are going to get some sushi around the corner. We're just gonna walk there because it's gonna be a nice walk. I'm super excited to have sushi because I haven't had sushi in like five days, and that's a long time for me. We are currently out to dinner. We're gonna get some sushi, and this place is amazing. I have never seen anything like it, and it's sad because I wish it wasn't raining because the top opens and the indoor feels like outdoor because the top is open, but it's so crazy. Just finished up eating some sushi, and honestly, I'm surprised at how good the sushi is. I think everyone can vouch. Tyler, Tyler can vouch for it. Jen? Oh, Are you surprised that the sushi was that good? No, it was amazing. See, I'm surprised that the sushi was that good because Mexico City is in the center of the country. But it was so good. The fish basically melted in my mouth. And so we are out to dinner with one of the influencers that Isaac was doing an interview with earlier today. She made me try this thing, caballo, and it is like a shot of espresso and then liquor, and it is the best thing I've ever tasted. And I'm telling you guys, when you ever come you to Mexico, it's the best drink you've ever tasted. Yes. It's aggressive. My first reaction. I mean, yes. My my first reaction, I was like, this is freaking amazing. I basically screamed. I was screaming. I've never seen a reaction. I've never seen a reaction like that here. Okay, well, 
Okay. okay, well. Okay, well. It's so good. So if you guys ever come to Mexico, you have to try it. It's with a liquor that's that U.S. doesn't have. I'm gonna try and get that liquor <laughs> and bring it back to the U.S. So if you guys are in the U.S., want to hit me up, want to try some of this, let me know. I'm googling it now, guys. I am picking up my camera because Jen just stated what I just stated, and she said it is the best drink that she has ever drank. Best drink ever. Cabajillo. Is that right? Cabajito. Cabajito. Cabajillo. No, Cabajito. Cabajillo. Okay. 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 Cabajito of Cara Carajillo. Y'all, I can't. Yeah, like I can't really pronounce my Spanish, but I am. I'm telling you, it is the best drink ever. Seven days. Forty-three sold at Walmart. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> Like you heard this milk. you heard this live go to your local Walmart and get 43 mix it with some espresso and there you have it this is true Isaac come on take a picture this is intense Isaac <laughs> take a picture you ready <laughs> guys this drink is insane <laughs> what is this I love yeah. it I love yeah. it just put it together for the future I mean <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna finish this, I really don't. If this isn't Mexico, I don't know what 